Here's what he's done his last two. You mentioned that start against Miami his last time out when he got through five unscathed but had problems in the sixth. Tonight had him again. But important for people to remember, he did allow just one run before leaving tonight. Holder just allowed those two inherited runs. Runners, let's hear from Lance Lynn. Very strong through the first four. What did you feel like was working for you early on? Um, I think it was actually really good tonight. Um, and then, uh, you know, I was able to just move the ball in and out and then started making some speeds and, you know, and then, uh, you know, uh, all in all, it wasn't terrible. Uh, just some bad luck there at the end. And then offense came back and bailed us out. And we won the game, so it was good. You mentioned the offense. They struggled a, a little bit yesterday, obviously, and you left down a couple runs, but still knowing some of the guys in that lineup, do you have confidence they're going to find a way to battle back for you? Yeah, I mean, I've... Uh, I've seen it before where, uh, you know, they get a couple a couple more looks at the guy and then they put some swings on, get in the bullpen and then, uh, you know, make some guys pay. So they did it again. You know, I think everyone would tell you that we want to score early and, and not make it like that. But uh, it was a fun ending, wasn't it? <laughs> Lance, you've competed against Neil plenty of times. Um, what, what's it like having him as a teammate? Uh, good, because I've seen that pitch leave the yard against me a few times in the past. So, uh, you know, I'm happy to be over here. Let's take a look at Lance Lynn's pitch breakdown. As Jack mentioned, heavy on the fastball. And we saw how effective in that highlight rip Jack did. The two-seamer was. So very effective as a cut inside on the right-handers.